Hey guys, what's up? I'm bored in this quarantine and so are you. So today we're going to be making a high power air gun. So first thing you're going to need is a 4,500 PSI pump and you can get this on eBay for around 50 bucks. What you're going to need is a half inch ball valve, preferably metal so it doesn't explode. Then you're going to need a threaded male adapter to a 12 inch long piece of half inch PVC. And this will be our barrel. Now how are we going to connect the 1 8 inch high pressure fittings to the half inch fittings? Well, we're going to use another adapter. Actually two. Here is a 1 8 inch to a 1 4 inch fitting threaded. Here is a PVC half inch to 1 4 inch fitting and this will be connected here like this. Now you'll screw this on to the 1 8 inch fitting. And we could just connect it to the barrel, but we need an actual tank because although this is 4,500 PSI, you're still going to need a bit of a tank to hold the air before you shoot something with it. So we're going to be using this preferably metal fitting. And I just have another plastic piece in there because I'm poor. Uh, we're going to screw that on here and that will be our tank. Now we're going to connect that to our valve and the actual barrel. Now sure it's going to work like this, maybe at 1 or 200 psi, but you're going to need some threaded tape on all the fittings so it doesn't leak. Reasons why you should not take this at 4000 psi. First of all, the barrel, it's plastic, get a metal barrel. It'll explode at 4000 psi, it's just boom, pushed into it. Second of all, this valve can't handle 4,000 PSI because it is a ball valve and it is probably made in China. Oh, it's made in Italy. Well, China. Uh, second of all, I'm using plastic parts. Do not use plastic parts for something that high pressure. Well, even if you have metal parts, it's still super dangerous. 4,000 PSI is like a... If this were to explode, it would be the size of an M80 most likely. Now keep in mind, if one of these metal parts were to explode at 4,000 PSI, there would be some serious damage. And you just don't want that happening. So we're never going to be able to take it that high. Yeah, basically whatever you shoot is going to have to be very, very, very light. Otherwise, the kickback from it is going to, like, put a hole in your shoulder. And that's no fun. I would recommend not building this at all because... Just don't. Yay, we're done. Surprise, surprise, it's ugly. Well, no one cares. If it works, it works, you know? Now, what have we got on the menu today? Ooh, double A batteries, my favorite. Now, we can't just shove them in there. Oh, wait, we can't, but it won't be as powerful. We gotta add that wadding to seal up the gaps between the barrel and the battery. Make more power, you know? Now, I don't even have a target set up, so I don't even know what I'm doing. I just kind of built this. Why did I build this? Yay, we got some cardboard boxes, boys. We're gonna be putting some holes in cardboard boxes because I don't have anything else. Okay, there we go. 100 PSI, guys. We let go through of them. Well, I think I went through them. So let's have a look. We have, an, we have a entry here, another entry, and we have our battery in there. So at 100 psi, it goes through two. Why is that battery hot? Boy, I wonder why. Uh, back to the point, we got a hole in double sheeted cardboard, so two sheets here, and another sheet here. So it went through three sheets of cardboard. Okay. What? Two. One. Wow. So we have an entry right here, obviously. So there's two sheets and it's gone. Okay, we got them loaded to 250. And this better go through all of them, otherwise we failed. Where is this thing going? There's an entry, but there's no exit. 
And the battery's not in there. So obviously we've got entry on the two sheets of cardboard, which is the big box here. Then we got it to go through. We got a little bit of wadding stuck in there. And there's another hole, went through that. And on to the next box. Here's another hole, went in there, went out here. And then it stopped on the two pieces of cardboard here. So at 250 PSI, it goes through seven pieces of cardboard. And that is pretty impressive considering that the air tank for it is the size of a D cell battery. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be taking this up to any high pressures, so it's not going to be that powerful because I'm afraid of the barrel kind of popping or, you know. Uh, although it's not very powerful at 250 PSI, uh, considering we paid only 60 bucks for the pump and all the materials to build it, it's a pretty good option if you're looking at building yourself a PVC air cannon. Now obviously, yes, you could get a better valve, there's room for improvement. You could definitely take this up to 4000 PSI if you had the right materials, but I am not going to ever do that. I might make another video on this in the future if I end up getting better materials or better fittings, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.